Well, uh, hey guys, uh, Pastor Steve here. Just wanted to share a brief meditation with you from the book of John. Um, today I've been meditating in chapter 3, and I wanted to read the first three verses for you out of chapter 3. It says, There was a man from the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to him at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher, that you have come from God as a teacher, for no one could perform these signs you do unless God were with him. Jesus replied, I assure you, unless someone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. When you put this in combination with the end of chapter 2, it's a truly amazing meditation. Um, at the end of chapter 2, you have Christ driving out the money changers and the merchants at the temple, and the Pharisees coming to him in their um, uh, restraint, uh, saying, by what authority do you do this? And Jesus says, I will uh, destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. Now they thought he was talking about the physical temple, but he was actually referring to his body, which would be raised on the third day. So then he continues teaching in the temple for days after that. And it's, it's in this context that um, Nicodemus comes to Jesus. But because of the awkwardness that the Jewish leadership was dealing with, you see, they had welcomed and embraced this uh, uh, merchandising in the temple and I'm sure they were making a little bit off of it on the side and so having been publicly corrected by this new teacher it was just a tiny bit of awkwardness as you could imagine and so in order to try and save some face and not um, not make it look worse for the leadership Nicodemus decides that he's going to come to Jesus at night now, Jesus, recognizing the challenge that Nicodemus faces um, and recognizing his heart in it, knowing that Nicodemus is trying to save embarrassment and um, recognizing what Nicodemus is saying, he's saying that, Jesus, you, are, you have come from God. So the ones who were had enough humility and enough perception to recognize what was going on. They recognized, Jesus, you are different than these other teachers. And so Nicodemus comes to Jesus recognizing this difference. And Jesus' response to Nicodemus is to ignore the statement. I think about that. Jesus ignored Nicodemus' statement. And it was, it was a compliment. It was a, a positive way of coming to Jesus and saying, hey, we, we recognize this about you. And instead of getting caught up into a conversation of who he was and where he came from, he goes right after what Nicodemus needs most. And what Nicodemus needs most is to know what he says here. He says, I assure you, unless someone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And so here you see Christ sticking to the most important message, which is you must be born again. Unless someone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You know, with all of this chaos around us in our world today and all of the turmoil that we see and, and the hopelessness that we see, there's all sorts of messages that are being proclaimed. And some of them are okay, some are not so okay, but the reality is the most important message is that un unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Where you're at sociologically, where you're at uh, uh, psychologically, where you're at uh, in your family, like that's gonna, none of that's going to matter when it comes to the kingdom of God. What matters is, are you born again? And um, I just think it's so instructive that Christ, in the face of some, you know, uh, struggle and difficulty that's being uh, blown his way by the Jewish leadership for upsetting the apple cart and... Uh, uh, doing what was right, but, you know, making things a little bit uh, difficult for them, that here he's done this, and Nicodemus and paying him a compliment, Christ goes right to what's important. I think it's very instructive to us as believers today that God does have an agenda, and God does have an order of priorities, and it starts with the souls of, 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 the, of the human race. So uh, I hope you enjoy this meditation for, the, uh, for today. I've been, uh, it's a great, great and encouraging meditation. And I hope it's a blessing for you to uh, contemplate. Uh, but uh, God bless and talk to you later. Bye.